Hey guys, I am back with more FF2. We are at Altair. They give you gear. Okay. Uh, we're just talking about some Destiny 2 changes in chat here, and uh, we're at Altair, and Altair has been fucking destroyed. It's all PMF's fault. Oh, these are new out here. Don't cast death on me. Loot boxes, random loot. Gotcha. Damn, that sucks. If only. I got a death tone from them. Is is Finn still alive? Can we can we go for Finn? The problem I see is that I would often using blue gear to infuse gear that I didn't have at soft cap yet to soft cap. Of course, you'd rather infuse it to hard cap, but sometimes you don't have that luxury. True. Oh, look, Finn's still here. Fine. Go talk to Gordon. The ultimate magic is in our hands, but what good does it do us? The cyclone will kill us before we have a chance to use it. They're like, what is any of this that you're talking about? Unless we spout wings and learn to fly, I don't see how we can get into that cyclone. Alright. The Emperor's foul magic can control even the winds. Hoth, Palum, Altair, Gatria, each was destroyed in turn. And now the cyclone is headed for Finn. Oh, she said something about. Long ago, we summoned wyverns by reflecting the light of the pendant off the castle's mirror. Mm. The emperor himself is controlling the cyclone. I have no doubt. Hey, Layla. When the storm kicked up and the ship went down, I got separated from you. I thought you were dead for sure. It's good to be wrong now and again. First floor? I'm not even on the first floor. What am I doing? Well, let me say so. Pretty sure this is where we gotta go. You guys remember that big mirror we went to? Up in this door here, I think? The mirror absorbs the light emitted by the pendant. Yeah, I visited the rebel camp. <laughs> what the fuck is that quote? The image of a young wyvern shimmers in the mirror. The last wyvern egg is finally hatched. The wyvern is speeding towards Flynn. Flynn Finn. I think we can actually now get the, um... Wyvern and Dragoon are together once more. Say this says they stopped dropping in the world. But no, I don't want to go in there. Where are you going? 
I'm gonna go in here. Even if we had an army of you, it wouldn't help us this time. How can we fight a cyclone? You're planning on going into that thing? You do realize that's insane, right? Tell you what, I've been keeping a few things stashed away and I want you to have them. I feel it around the wall near my bed. Right there, dude. Let's do this. Here's our eight treasures. Ruby Kuros. Black garb. Peach gloves. Gold Kuros. Luxor. Gold hairpin. Silver Kuros. And blood sword. That's what I'm interested in right there. I don't know if they... Uh, modified it in this one. But the blood ford was fucking disgusting in the other games, so I want to uh, try it out and see. There we go. Okay, so we've gotten every chest so far. Which queen changed it so they don't drop in activities already? How do you feel about the witch queen? Hey, you excited for Lightfall? Final Fantasy XIV, Shadowbringers. Final uh, World of Warcraft, Shadowlands. Destiny 2, Lightfall. Won't be getting it? Really? Alright. That makes uh Factor sad because he really wants to. He really wanted to play that with you. Someone brought up that the last four Royal experiences are the sequels to the first four. And how do you feel about that? Oh, I know what you did, Vector. I'm just messing with him. Yeah, that, that's interesting. I wonder if that's by design. Oh, look at this wyvern, guys. He's taking us. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six enemies here that are new. Alright. I don't see any treasures on this floor. Cockatrices. Of course there's cockatrices here. Looks like they may have actually nerfed the blood sword. It does not look like it does the obscene amount of damage it did before. And these are even undead, so I can't actually attack with them. All right, that's a sad bit. Remember being a teammate to beat the last boss without it? Okay, so we beat Vampire Lady, which is... Hang on, let me take all these down again. Yeah. 
Let me delete this. Ultima leveled up. Alright, so. We're taking down Vampire Lady. Uh, so that's one and gone. Obtain the Ripper, which I'm pretty sure is a dagger. Yes. In the GBA version. I just remember that the, um... Why the fuck do you guys always go after Rickard? What the hell did he do to you? See? He's harmless. He pummels the crap out of himself. Also, how did that not remove his confusion? Oh well, at least he gives me a reason to cast uh, Cure to raise my level with it. Royal Guard and Wood Golem. We need both of these. That's a cool model, actually. It looks more stone than wood, but... <laughs> wow, he's got quite the defense on him. For me, I thought I was playing Super Mario RPG with the ba -na 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 bit of the music. Okay, Wood Golem and Royal Guard, done. Just walking through, casting the ultimate magic, just willy nilly on every little thing I see. Oh, energy beam, energy beam. Just a bit in it. Like when I used the death rune on everything in Swakoden. Never use this rune. Always use the rune. A hey, poison axe. All right. Here you go, Sane. Yeah, look at that. Ultima four. Pretty sure there, but there's nothing else in that area, right? We can't go. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Okay. How many treasure chests are even here? Okay, we only need five more. So there's a lot less chests here than I would have thought. But probably for the better, considering this is an area you can't come back to. Is here. What the heck? Anyway, we gotta find um, four more enemies in this area. But I got some good treasure. Got about a thousand damage, though. 
wood golem just ran away from me. I was not expecting that. Oh, Lamia and Captain. I need both of these. Alright. Oh, wait, no, we need General, not Captain. Okay, well. Still, we needed Lamia. Four, four. Yeah. You know what, though? I am happy they they went with though. Uh, that they uh, changed the uh, models of your weapons when you actually equip a new weapon. I don't like games where they don't at least do that. Like, when every weapon just looks the same, it's boring. I also like games that uh, change your armor every time you equip something new. I know it's a lot to program that in, and not every game can do it, obviously, but I like when I see it in games. Like, Dragon Quest IX doing that was awesome. Legend of Lugaya, yep. Yeah. Okay, so, there is a PS2 turn-based RPG for Lord of the Rings, called Lord of the Rings The Third Age. I really liked that game. It was really hard, though. By, like, one of the later chapters, it gets really difficult. Anyway. The thing I'm... But they change your armor every time you equip something new in that as well, and that was cool. My mom is really hard? She might be. Dude, how's this dude getting hit and not being unconfused? Oh, I couldn't tell if it was him hitting him or if it was uh, Rickard hitting himself. they both have the same, like, animation when damaging your player character since he's using fists. This is dude so alive. Diamond gloves! Next, we got some diamond gloves and we got a diamond helm. Is the helm better for him? I don't think it is. I mean, defensively. But it was so much attack. I don't think it's worth it. This guy's becoming poisoned like every fight that I do. Doesn't matter what I'm fighting. He just ends up poisoned. Even with the, even by enemies that don't poison. But no, I don't want to forget that. Could you imagine forgetting that at this point?
You're laughing at reviewers getting mad about companies pandering to their fans when, like, isn't that always the point of an entertainment product? Yeah. God, I hate reviews. Just one devil bloom? This is weird. Wait, how many treasure chests do I need now? I shall only need like two, right? No, oh, three, okay. By the staircase first. Okay. But pandering doesn't necessarily mean repeating the same thing over and over again. I mean, it can. But people's changes also, people's, um, pace also changed, so you can't really account for everyone. So you gotta go with what you know. You can change it up enough that it's not the exact same experience while still giving them the same general idea of what they're looking for, is what I mean. I should have equipped that sword. Was better than what I got, most likely. Although that ultimate level six is a big explosion now. I immediately write off such criticism if it's coming from a reviewer. If it's coming from friends, that's a little different because they don't have any real agenda other than trying to get me to play a game I might uh, not like. You're pandering to payment too much? I might be. That's a good criticism. And I, I, I'm gonna have to agree with the saying on this one. It, it, it's a buzzword. Ooh, General, we don't have this one. I forgot to equip my sword again. They almost killed him. Oh damn, they can hit us. Oh, he's dead. Alright, so he died from poison. I don't have three Phoenix Downs. Having a minority character is the opposite of pandering, ironically, while forcing the stereotypical cloud spell to stop protagonist pandering. Absolutely. I personally have no issue with pandering. It does not bug me. As long as the story is interesting, I'm happy. Okay. As long as the story's interesting and the gameplay is not completely horrible to navigate.
People hate Squall. <laughs> All right, so I need to find one more enemy. Two more enemies. Okay, I keep forgetting. Defender, there we go, new sword. Hurrah, we did it. So what is up here? Okay, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Whatever. You know what? I know exactly what this is. First off, those are all empty rooms. Uh, you know how I know? Because I've gotten six of the seven treasure chests, and the seven treasure chests was on the outside of the room. So... Did you know one of these enemies, the uh, wizards or the sorcerers, I'm not sure, can actually drop flare tons on Tombstones? Tomes. Too much FF14 for me. In case it wasn't conveyed, then whatever was a squall. Yeah, I caught that. Thank you for clarifying back there, though. <laughs> so growing up, I actually never had any uh, issues with the characters in FF8. It wasn't ever something I really thought about, but... I did have issue with the junction system. I didn't like it. I still kind of don't like it, but I have more regard for it nowadays than I did then. It's very easy to break the game with the junction system, so there's that. I'm not a big fan of the draw system. It, if you're doing it in combat, it needlessly draws out the, uh, the game. Um, on top of that, it also is a system that purposely um, it basically punishes you for using your magic, which is never fun. play cards and refine tents early. Yeah, but what if I don't want to play cards? Like, I don't know. As much as people love Triple Triad, I didn't care for it either. Just refine tents. What if I don't want to refine tents? I remember getting, um... Not the ultimate weapon, but, uh, like, not Square's Lionheart, uh, Square, Squall's a Lionheart, but the one before that, the, the Blast Trigger? What if I can't draw? A green dragon! After a certain amount of, what if I don't want to, you become the problem, not the game. That's untrue. I am never the problem. You take that back. The I played um, FF8 once, and one of the best magics you can, uh, I'm pretty sure, that you could uh, junction onto your attack was Bio. Turns out you don't want to do that for the final boss. 
I still beat the game, but yeah, that was that was rough. Am I so bad? No. It's the game that is wrong. Hey, I didn't become poisoned. Sick. Yeah, there we go. It didn't stand a chance. You give me 15,000 gil, though. And a wind flu? What the fuck is a wind flu? Oh, okay, I don't know. Oh, it summons a cyclone. How fitting. Oh, something dropped a flare down for me. Summons a cyclone. Am I in the last area? Is this it? If I remember it correctly, this fight had some bullshittery, like instant death, so I'm going to. Utilize my second quick save. I'm gonna tell Piamat to go fuck herself. Piamat, go fuck yourself. No! You guys, she said yes. No! You guys, she said yes again. I no. wanna fuck Meg. Exactly. Ultima 7. The explosion's slightly bigger now. Has she ever tried to not fuck Magni? Um, no. It's a good time to hate. <laughs> so, you revived the wyverns and now, here you are. Yet you are but insects. Unworthy even of being crushed under my foot. What the hell are blood insects? What? What? What'd you say? I said blood insects. Exactly. Okay. One step closer to the edge. So you've some skill after all. Let us see how you manage against this. Thanks, Ascend. Quite extraordinary, really. I would uh, it would appear I've sorely underestimated you. But you should consider that I'm about I am about to do you a great honor. I shall kill you personally. Oh damn, he really bring it up. Okay. Would I date this Emperor Sprite? He's got really nice legs. Fucking poisoned him. Less chance of working if I try to hit them all, so I'm just gonna curse him. Actually... Yeah, that's fine. gonna uh, Ultima.
Actually, no. You know what I'm gonna do? Didn't work on himself, but that doesn't matter. Alright, we took down the first wall, preventing us from fighting the Emperor. Hey guys, join the same for a boss fight. Alright, we took down the second wall. The third wall. Now it's just the Emperor. This battle was inspired by chess. He's got two knights, a wood golem. How we put up our third wall. I took down the Emperor like Winchie goes down on Magni. Really fast. No! I will not die! An interesting eel colored flash that got going there. It's over. We should get back to Finn. They'll be waiting. They're not going to be waiting. <laughs> Through your efforts, we finally defeated the Emperor. Thank you. The world was shattered in darkness, but now the light of peace shines once more. Steve, Plopamet, Hussein, Rickard, what more could we ask of you? The tales of your bravery will be handed down for generations. Now, let us celebrate. Many have ho uh, come hoping to catch a glimpse of the heroes who brought down the Emperor. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. Oh shit, the dance scene. Steve's dancing with Plop in that. Hussain and uh, Rickard uh, don't get the dance. Fatigued puppies. He will. My ladies, my lords, the Dark Knight, Iso, has declared himself Emperor. He's reorganized the Pelimatian Empire. He'll send troops. He'll... He'll slaughter us all. Ugh. It can't be. Iso. Yeah. Iso, the Dark Knight? But I thought he was your friend, your brother. I'll go to him. I'll make him understand. He must be under the spell of the Emperor. I know it. He's ascended to the Emperor's son. There's only one place he can be. Pelamicia. There's nothing to say about any of these. Castle Palamicia is a fortress situated high in the mountains. It cannot be approached on foot. Alright. Hey, so, the Dark Knight. Do you really think you can fight Plopamit's brother? This is our battle. You have to let us finish it. I had a feeling you say that. Just make sure you come back. It's an impregnable fortress. Luckily, Paul doesn't know the meaning of the word. 
I've heard him bragging about breaking in. What? Paul doesn't know shit. It feels right on brand for eyes on a plot of shit. going to do here? Stay at the end. I probably need to stay at the end, don't I? Yeah, I do. A pee that smells like feces. Not knowing what impregnable means. Is it the flesh you think it is, Paul? <laughs> hey guys, I'm illiterate. Hey Sid, what are you doing here? A cyclone really did a a number on me back in Palum. My body is taking too kindly to the idea of moving around. Oh, well, you look like you're moving around. Sid, okay? I'm a mess, is what I am. But my airship made it through without a scratch. I want to lend it to you. That's lend, you hear? I'll be wanting her back. Take good care of her. Sid? Sid, no! Hold on! <laughs> and that was that. And then we probably forgot about Sid. That was Sid's dying wish, you know. He knew he was dying, but he was ready. He planned on giving you the airship when his time came. He loved that ship with all his heart, and he entrusted it to you. Think about that. That time I snuck into the castle, I used a kite to land on the roof. The only way in is from above. From the sky! If there was ever a time to use Sid's final gift to you, I'd say this was it, wouldn't you? Gotta love the 8-bit uh, generation when uh, sad things happen. Your characters just like stand there, talk, and then all of a sudden they're like... Okay, let's go on. Thank you for showing me where the airship was. Oh, look at this. Gatry is gone. Oh, I get the preemptive attack once. Okay. <coughs> I literally kill off two thirds of the named NPCs. Yeah, it's funny. FF4's big thing was, uh, we're gonna sacrifice ourselves. Why? You don't need to. We could just solve this in an another way. Nope, gotta sacrifice myself. Okay. And then FF2's is like, we're just gonna kill everyone. Alright guys, it's time for the airship. After I'm now ambushed by these. Wicker, good job blocking, dude. And we got him. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else left for me to do, so let's go to the National Palamisha. Are there uh, battles in the air? Did I end up fighting everything? I know we got the green dragon. No, we ended up not fighting one enemy in that area. Does the I Amoeba spawn anywhere else? Okay, yeah, it does. Good. But I don't want to land here.
it spawns here. So we actually have to find the amoeba here. Alright, so there are one, two, three, four, five enemies we gotta find here. So let me. Sorry about the delay, guys. I'm going to reset our recording. 